Hey guys, Rock here again. Uh, it is January 19th, 2022. Um, I got this Polaris Fusion 900. This thing's a 05. Um, I'm gonna do a walk around, then we'll take a test drive on it. Um, this unit is definitely for sale. Um, as you can see, plastic's a little beat up on it. When I say a little, I mean a lot. <laughs> They've been patched here and there. This thing's been ridden. It's actually got low miles, but um, but as you can tell, it's been ridden pretty hard. Or just, you know, they didn't care too much about the plastic. Some people don't. This thing runs and rides real good. But, uh, but yeah, big um, the Clean Fire 900 Twin Liberty. Um, definitely doesn't have a good reputation if you look online at these things but some people love them some people hate them uh, they did put um the fire and ice air box on it and the fire and ice belt guard um i guess a lot lighter than than the factory and this has got some kind of can on it there was no markings on it so i'm not sure what it is but it's a little on the loud side but uh, yeah so anyways now that we see it um oh boy one thing i do like about this is a polaris iq chassis one thing i do like about these completely adjustable um steering post you just push that down pull it back if you want to go you know ride kind of casually or if you're standing up a lot you push this down push it up and it goes uh you know it's nice and high very good feature i don't know why more sleds don't have that but uh oh, track track is okay um it's got a couple little spots on there but she's got some miles left to her um but anyways enough talking about it let's uh, get on to her and try her out all right yeah, we'll get on this big thing and try it out. Plug that in. So it is um, clean fire injection, so fuel injected, batterless, battery, battery less um, system. It's just got a small capacitor in it, which I did have to change because it wasn't taking a charge anymore. But one pull, sometimes two, uh, if it's cold. Now, if it's real cold, I've had to do it three times, uh, pull it three times, but I'm talking, you know, it was like 20, uh, 10 below Fahrenheit yesterday, and it took three pulls, but either way, it's not bad. So what I was talking about is this right here, I'll show you, really handy, you know, you can have the bars way back here, or you can have them all the way up here, and it makes it really easy to drive standing up, really like that design. I'll keep it right there so um, you can go through your selection this does have temp gauge on it which is nice um, hour meter this thing's only got 104 hours on it and uh, 1485 miles very low but like I said this thing's been ridden so. but anyways looks like we're at a decent temperature so we're gonna take off and try her out very snappy motor this thing's kind of loud <laughs> but only 120 track so. this thing's got a lot of low end grunt after getting off those 600s <laughs> Yeah, definitely. We'll take it up the trail here, and then we'll bring it back in the field and hammer down on her. Just want to see how the suspension handles. Um, this does have Fox shocks on it. No. They probably could use a rebuild, but they work just fine how they are. And you know what? It actually 
actually rides pretty nice. Maybe it's set up a little stiffer than the uh, Skidoo I just tried out, but that one was uh, some of these bumps almost bottoming out. Yeah. It's definitely got some uh, low end grunt. Really want to try it out, see what she does. We got for power out in the field. Um, so it does have reverse, electronic reverse perk uh, system. You just hit that button, it fires right up. Turns that motor backwards. You just hit it to go again. today so a little cool but uh, not too bad Stays pretty flat in the corners. It is a little loud though with that, that muffler on it. Alright, so let's see what this thing's got. Get up and go. Find out on the GPS, but it's probably probably not quite that fast. Fun little machine to play around on with it. that low end grunt, for sure. Yeah, shocks still work fairly good. It drove a lot worse. Doesn't turn too great on the uh, <laughs> on the gravel, but. There she goes, which was running right at 122, so she's, uh, that's right where you want it to be, but, uh, yeah, you know, this thing, you know, she's beat up, but in today's market, I still think it's probably worth 1600 bucks or close, that's what I'm going to be looking to get out of it, so, anyways. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.